votes. This is obviously an extremely close election. It is clear that neither party has earned the right to govern in its own right. It now appears clear that Labor has won the two-party vote. That means the majority of Australians voting yesterday prefer a Labor government. I think this is a critical fact to weigh in the coming days. I believe last night's election result and the strong performance of independents and Green candidates reflects a desire for change in the way politics is conducted in our nation. I believe the independent members and the Greens will seek change in process in the way in which politics is conducted. Now, some will say last night's results create a crisis in our political processes because no major party has control of the lower house. I disagree. I very much disagree. I see opportunity. Opportunity forged through good faith, common sense, negotiation and consensus. Now we are in this historic moment. I believe we have the opportunity to step up and make real changes to our political processes and the way we conduct our democracy. We have an opportunity at this critical juncture to improve the standards of our parliament, our policies and our development of policy. It's clear that no party will be able to pass legislation through the Senate without the support of the Greens or the other major party. So the question before all of us is this. Which party is better able to form a stable and effective government in the national interest? Which party can proceed and process the business of the Australian people and get legislation passed through the parliament? I believe Labor can deliver real progress in implementing the policy agenda that I laid out during the election campaign, and that gives Australia the best prospect of effective, stable and competent government. Latika. You said that this result, uh, you acknowledge from it, that people want a change in how politics is conducted. What change do you think they want? What are you willing to do? And secondly, uh, was replacing Kevin Rudd worth it? Well, what I would say on the question of change is I think Australians are saying to us that they want to see a change in the business of politics, the way politics is conducted. They probably want to see more openness. Now, I am not going to preclude at this stage uh, any of the good ideas that might flow from discussions to be had over the days ahead uh, with the independents and with the Greens, but I think the message from the Australian people is they do want to see a change to the way politics is conducted. Uh, on your second question, obviously, I've answered it a number of times before. Well, yes. You know, you're a first-term government. Our economy is the envy of the world. Tony Abbott is not a particularly popular opposition leader um, among the public. What went wrong? Maxine McHugh has already basically taken a swing at the Labor Party. What does it say about the Labor Party? What does it say about your leadership? Well, something tells me that there will be no shortage of analysis of the election campaign that's been. Uh, my task today is not to engage in campaign analysis. It is to outline the steps that I will be taking uh, to move forward to create a stable and competent government for the future. 